Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. I'm the Orange Genius, but you may call me Eric, and in the last episode we finished up chapter 3. We got an A rating, still got an A rating. Um, we ended up missing quite a couple of AP. It started out with our midterms, those weren't exactly great. Honestly, all the AP I lost were due to multiple choice questions. And apparently I'm just not knowledgeable enough. That might be it. Might just be it. Or I'm not cheesy enough. Which is a very fair statement. I do, But I do want to play this game how the developers intended for it to be played. That's why I don't just save scum every Bonnie event. That's why I don't do that. Even though I've thought about it often. To say the least. Often I've thought about it. But no. I'm going to go all the way through with this style. Um, we also missed a quartz that could have been dropped by the by the chapter boss and i really hope micked uh went on his way back here and grabbed that thing out of that stomach so i can actually pick it up in the end because it's unfortunate that i missed that and apart from that the only thing i know that i lost and missed as well is giving Sil Mick to lean and apparently getting an item as a return but you know i don't know We'll see. July! Valflame Palace in Heimdaller. Dragos. That would have to be Emperor Dragos. There's our palace. The Imperial Palace. Whoa. Imperial Government Chancellor's Office. Negotiations with the Republican government are complete. The possibility of an armed conflict in the Nord Highlands has been successfully averted. However, they did demand that we hand over the mercenaries responsible from the attack as part of their terms. <clears throat> I suppose that's acceptable. That... A voice does not fit your body. You weigh like 40 kilograms too little to have that voice. After all, it was a shortcoming on our side that allowed that incident to occur. I'm more like 60 kilograms too little. Maybe 70, 80? We should consider this a chance to place Rocksmith in our debt, especially with the trade conference on the horizon. Yes, sir. Though it's regrettable that we were unable to catch the mastermind. There's not a doubt in my mind that he's one of the ringleaders. <laughs> Indeed. It seems we'll need to exercise greater caution from now on, if this is what they're capable of. Our next concern is the upcoming summer festival. Any thoughts as to the optimal placement of the Ironbloods? I believe their primary target will be next month's trade conference. I propose posting Lecter to the east and Milliam to the west. That leaves me here to take care of the capital. <laughs> it's almost like you read my mind. Very well then. I'll leave the preparations to you. Yes, sir. <laughs> With all respect, don't be afraid of working me hard, sir. I could run these kinds of logistics in my sleep. Ha! <laughs> I'm all too aware of how indebted I am to your abilities. What's wrong with her hair? Have you seen that? The heck? Do you have a green screen going on there or what is that? That's why I'm leaving the summer festival in your capable hands. Perhaps you may even consider using them as a test. Mm. Mm. I... Please excuse my intrusion, Your Excellency. 
His Excellency the Governor has arrived and wishes to speak with you. Ah, show him in. As you wish, sir. Coming in. Oh, forgive my intrusion. I didn't realize you had company. No, it's quite all right. I just finished giving my report. That's just a very oddly shaped thing to keep her hair together, I see. It's wonderful to see you again, Governor. Likewise. I think it's been, what, two months since we last spoke? I'm in your debt for helping out with the security arrangements at last month's commemoration event at City Hall. I've been looking forward to thanking you in person. Glad to have been of service. I'll be sure to pass on your thanks to everyone else involved. Anyway, if you'll excuse me. Good work as always, Captain. It never ceases to amaze me that a woman like that heads up the Iron Bloods. Your icy maiden has the provincial armies positively scared stiff. <laughs> Competent as she is, she's not the group's primary member. But she and the rest of the Ironbloods continue to do some fine work. Especially against those cunning vipers amongst the ranks of the nobility and the four great houses in particular. <laughs> cunning vipers. Agreed. But we'll need to stay vigilant. <laughs> I'm pleased that you agree. Imperial Governor Karl Regnitz. The feeling's mutual. Chancellor Gilead Osborne. Of course, and that's exactly why I intend to go with him. Next month's conference may be the West Samoria Trade Conference in name. Oliver, I want you to have my voice. But it's far more than that. It's the region's first international conference in modern times. So the discussions won't be limited to economic matters. Regional security and other timely issues are sure to come up. I see. So that's why all the region's heads of state will be in attendance? Who is that? Precisely. President Rocksmith will represent the Republic of Calvert, of course. Prince Albert will be representing the Principality of Ramaferia as its head of state. Crown Princess Claudia will be coming to represent Liberal in place of the Queen. What do you mean, Liberal? Liberal? And representing Crossbell State, we have Mayor Croyce and Speaker McDowell. All of them are either heads of state or their acting representatives. Meanwhile, Erebonia is sending Chancellor Osborne as a representative of the Imperial Government. But Father is the head of state, isn't he? Indeed. And that's why I'm planning to go as well, even though I'm far from the ideal candidate. The Imperial family needs to be represented, to make sure all sides are on equal terms. You shouldn't be so harsh on yourself. But I think I understand the situation. I feel so ashamed. I shouldn't have to rely on you to educate me about simple politics like this. Hmm? Recently, I feel as though all my inadequacies have been staring me in the face. I wish every day I had the intelligence and quick-wittedness you possess. And I wonder... Am I truly capable of inheriting the throne from father? <laughs> you know, Her Highness Princess Claudia of Liberal once said exactly the same thing. He's liberal. She did? As the successor to the throne of Liberal, liberal. I've heard that she agonized over whether she was fit to become queen. <sighs> but eventually, she came to terms with her own inexperience and vowed that she would strive each day to overcome it. And I have no reason to believe that my talented brother cannot do the same. Oliver, thank you. Your support means a lot to me. That said, I do think you should spend more of your time living life the way you want to. I don't think anyone would blame you for wanting to indulge your interests once in a while. <laughs> I am how I am, I'm afraid. To be honest, I'm a little jealous of how being so open and carefree comes so naturally to you. <laughs> Well, I think it'd be less concerning for all involved if you avoided taking after me too much. <laughs> Another thing. 
I sometimes find myself admiring Chancellor Osborne's strong-willed nature as well. Ooh, you struck a nerve. Oh? He was quite forceful in introducing the Imperial Transportation Act last year, despite the opposition's objections. But ever since then, I've heard the number of orbital car accidents has fallen dramatically. I can see why Father trusts him so much. Well, I wouldn't disagree that was a fine piece of policymaking. The campaign he launched with the help of City Hall was exceptionally well executed. But on the other hand... Honestly, don't you think it's a little early in the day to be having a stuffy political discussion? Hmm, the friend of Reen's sister. Alfin? Oh, have your lessons already finished for the day? You guys are so incredibly blonde. Indeed. They gave us the afternoon off to prepare for the summer festival. But come on, Cedric. You need to stop taking everything so seriously. We're 15. It's far too early for us to be worrying about politics. Actually, I'm not sure 15 is too early, to be honest. What you should be concerned about is being more of a man at official parties. Blushing head to toe just from a lady asking you to dance? Shameful. Totally shameful. Oh, come on. Why do you have to bring that up again? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that did wonders for his popularity. The ladies at that party were swooning left and right. He was playing their maternal instincts like a harp. <laughs> well, I can't deny that. Even some of the men there were fawning over him, saying Cedric was more of a youthful flower than me. Surely you're kidding, right? <laughs> that reminds me, Alfin. Have you decided on your dance partner for the upcoming garden party? Yeah. You've always avoided dancing at official functions. <laughs> Curious, are we? Well, I do have someone in mind this time. Although, whether I can get him to say yes... R really My my! It sounds like you aren't just blowing smoke. The Imperial Chronicle is going to have a field day when they find out. Y you are really going to dance with someone? C could it be a son from one of the four great houses? Nah. <laughs> That's for me to know, and you to discover. He is a noble, though. I'll give you that much. Oh, that reminds me. Prince Oliver? I have a proposal I'd like to discuss with you. Saint Astra Astrea. Girls of school. That's where Lee Elise. Elises. Speaking of which, letter from Rain. Cool. Oh no, it's a metal plate that's got I the symbols open that printed in. I should letter from Rain that came in this morning. It. That's. Oh my God! You didn't even know what the heck? How can a letter be so? St it. It must be a metal plate, don't you think? I, it looks like you could kill someone with it, honestly. <sighs> I'm almost afraid to think how Her Highness would have reacted if she found this. Dear Miss Schwarzer. <laughs> really, Reen? Still Miss Schwarzer? I'm your own sister. What? <sighs> Reen. Why? <laughs> Was she crying? I didn't see. Rain, what did you do? You dick. You. I'm gonna have a talk with you. I'm gonna have a little chat with you. You, you and me both. Mid-July. 
Summer had come to Trista, and that meant it was time for us students to dust off our short-sleeved shirts. With months of experience under our belts, we finally found ourselves adjusting to the rigors of our coursework. And it was during those early days of summer, before the heat became well and truly withering. He needs a glove in his right hand to write so he doesn't... Liza has the same glove on her left? What? It's one set of gloves and two people are wearing it. Um... Um... Guys? It's like wearing wedding rings? We saw the start of a uniquely seasonal new lesson. All right, that should be enough of a warm up. What? I'm supposed to remind you that swimming classes here are meant to teach you skills relevant to military service. You know, how not to drown if you wind up in the water, how to save others from drowning, CPR, that kind of stuff. In fact, CPR is a pretty vital skill on any battlefield. Reen, Elisa, would you care to give us a demonstration? Uh, what? Uh, instructor! In front of everyone? Come on, guys, just kidding around. Point is, it's still important that you learn how to do it and that you won't hesitate to use it if the need arises. Whether that means locking lips with someone of the same sex or the opposite? Uh... Of course. Well, it is a skill we can use to save someone's life. After we've covered that, I'll be timing how long it takes each of you to swim the length of the pool. Will you give me a hand, Laura? As you wish. Why? What are you doing with your legs, guys? You're up, Gaius. Ready, and go! You're next, Emma. Ready, go! Wow, look at Gaius go! Yeah, I already used to swim in that lake in the Highlands every summer, so I kind of expected that. Emma's a lot faster than I thought she'd be, too. Though it's not much her swimming ability that I envy. <sighs> what do you... Oh. Oh. I get it. You don't need to get it. <laughs> anyway, what are you doing just staring at girls in swimsuits? <laughs> I'm not staring. My eyes are just pointed in that general direction. Well, any guy would have a hard time taking his eyes off of our class's girls. I'm not even sure who to gawk at first. Did you just actually say that, Elliot? You, uh, just because you're wearing bunny ears doesn't allow you to just blurt out everything. That, that was... Wow. I... This guy doesn't know the first thing about communication right here. I mean, even the other guys are handsome. You're pretty toned yourself, Reen. Oh my... Oh... She knows how to turn it around, wow. That might have actually... Duh. I don't know where to put this guy. You think? Well, it does look like you put a lot into your exercise and training. As for you, Elliot, I think you're better just the way you are. <laughs> oh, really? I don't think I want to imagine Elliot all buff and ripped. <laughs> hmm? Hey, what's that on the left side of your chest, Reen? Some kind of scar? Yeah, wasn't obvious at all, no. Hmm? Well, you're right. It's so faint that I hadn't noticed it before. Oh, that. It's... some kind of mark. Some kind of mark? I don't know what it's from. It's been there as long as I can remember. 
Don't know how I got it, though. Uh, wow. Actually, when I look at it more closely, it looks more like a bunch of little scars all knit together. I do have a little theory, but I don't know. Of course. So my theory is he protected the Baron's daughter with his life, and they ended up making it out alive, and... Um, he he lost his parents in that in that attack as well, and thus the Baron ended up adopting him right after that. Just as a, I I, I guess to to pay him back for saving his daughter's life, or or just out of kindness, I guess. But that's that's my theory currently. We'll see if that actually comes to be true. It makes you look really manly and tough. I kind of wish I had one now. <laughs> Seriously? It really wouldn't suit you. Trust me. <sighs> Can't believe we finish with the exact same time. We must be destined to strive against each other forever. <sighs> what are you talking about? The only one I was competing against was myself. And even then, I barely put much effort into it. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not like I was giving my best either. <laughs> These two. <sighs> that was refreshing. I wouldn't mind swimming a little longer, actually. Okay. Laura, are you ready? I'll time your lap. Though I doubt I really need to, considering you're in the swimming club. No, please do. So Laura's next. You can tell she's a member of the swimming club. Just look at the way she stands on the block. <laughs> <laughs> it actually looks real awkward to me, but yeah, of course, if you think that's a... Uh, Ready, and go! Whoa, she's fast. Uh, how is she doing it? Impressive. Whew. Well done. Let's see. 20.02 seconds. Not bad at all. On 25 meters, I can do that, too. But these might be 50, so... Nah. Yeah. These, these might be 50 meters, so... All right. I think it's time for me to dive into the mix. Everyone, pick a partner. It's time for a little head-to-head -head competition. Well, that came out of nowhere. Is this gonna be like 40 minutes of fan service or what are we gonna do here? Because I don't, are we actually gonna see gameplay? Uh-oh, races. <laughs> it appears we've been given a chance to settle this once and for all. I'm ready when you are. I think we'd be a good match, Emma. How about it? <laughs> True, our times were pretty close. Hmm. How about it, Laura? Want to partner up with me? Oh man, we are... Yeah, odd number of people. Not today, I'm afraid. I wish to challenge Fee this time. Huh. Me? Laura? But your times weren't even close. Well, all right, let's go with that. <laughs> I guess that leaves me with... Reen. It's your lucky day again! What's with Elliot? You guys are mean! Wait. Am I am I just stupid? Maki has the juices. Eliza and Emma. Fiend, of course, Elliot was Gaiath. I I'm Wait, I don't know. Why me? I don't even know, man. Exhausted. You know, this seems like it would be pretty effective as part of a diet plan. <laughs> you just, you just, you kind of throw kindling on that fire. Okay, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Y yeah, 
There's no way I'm going to win this, is there? <laughs> Go easy on me, Gaius. <laughs> Same to you. Ready? Go! Press Y or B. Okay, that's a quick time event, so let's get away, with it. get that blanket away. Press Y or B when the two circles overlap. Okay, Y or B. Y is the left one, B is the right one. Doing this repeatedly will increase your speed. Okay, I can do that. Pretty good start. Fuck me. That was cheap. Yeah, we try that as often as Ready? it takes. Go. We need to be first here. Give me a break, man! Uh. Don't do this. Ready? Go! <laughs> I hate my life! Ready? Go! Come the heck on! This is real hard, Ready? by the way. It's not Go. you don't have to hit when the circles overlap, by the way. There's an offset. Fuck me! Oh, sorry. I don't want to scream here. I'd much rather just jump in there myself! But I already went swimming this morning, so it's okay. Ready? I'd be better than Go. rain at this, though. Sarah, come on now. Couldn't have missed the first one. The greats are only, I need to get like three greats and then just good is enough. To get the speed Ready? bar all the way up if that speed Go. bar is trustworthy. Ready, go! This blows. I do not like this. I don't want to be.
be second. Guys. At least it gives me the option to retry, though. That's nice of the game. Ready? Go! Poor Elliot, though. This is BS. I just need two greats and then I'll I'm good with goods. Ready? I'm gonna lose Go. my mind. Get a miss. Ready? Go! All right, finally. Only took me ten tries. More like eight. Yeah, let's say I'm happy with that. AP increased by three. I, I actually won. <laughs> if you had actually sw swam that that for eight times and on the eighth try won, it's not worth it that much anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, Reen. Oh, I'm exhausted. You did try that eight times. I'm proud of you, Elliot. <sighs> oh, okay. Are you both ready? Not quite. Fee, how about giving it all you've got this time? Huh? L Laura? What if I already did? I don't think so. I could tell just by watching you. Don't make light of me. Your earlier time was certainly not the best you're capable of. <laughs> well, it's not very polite to your opponent to hold back. <sighs> this isn't like the battlefields you grew up fighting on. It's a place you can grow and better yourself by challenging others. Deep down, I know you realize that. <sighs> Good. Then let us begin. Would you, you know, get that? I, I mean, with that here, are you really, do you really intend to go swimming like that? All the female swimmers, I know, wear like caps while swimming, but I mean, I guess. Mm. Elliot, don't look, don't look where you're looking. Just don't. Looking at them like this, it's obvious how different their builds are. <laughs> you're such a dick. If build were all that mattered, we would have turned in faster times than either of them. I imagine the difference lies in their control of their bodies. Yeah, this'll be one to watch. Ready, go! What? I incredible! Whoa! Which of them was first? I mean, they're really good at quick time events, guys! It was too close to call. No, there was a tiny difference. Laura came out ahead on this one. Having longer arms might have been the deciding factor, even. Oh, I wish I could have joined in. <laughs> well done. <sighs> the same to you. You can do this when you want to, and yet, 
You consistently hold back. Why? <laughs> no reason, really? Too much effort, I guess. It seems we truly cannot find a middle ground. Have to explain how you do that with your hair staying dry. That's impressive. Well, the temperatures are, uh, temperatures are going up and up and up and I don't know about you, but I'm wilting like a flower. But as everyone knows, when the heat is on, that's when the refreshing power of beer is at its peak. Ah, maybe I should just free my day tomorrow and hit up all the capitals as beer gardens. If you're waiting for us to stop you, you're in for a long wait. So, do you have some classy gentlemen lined up to go with your will you be flying solo again? <sighs> you just had to ask! Anyway, moving on, your next practical exam is coming up next Wednesday. I'm sure you've already used, uh, you're already used to them by now, but just make sure you're ready. Yes, instructor. That means next weekend will be our field study then. Uh, it feels like we just got one done with. Uh, it feels like we just got done with our last one. Oh, if we're tied up next weekend, I guess I won't be able to go to the capital for the summer festival this year. What summer festival? It's a seasonal holiday, kind of. Most of the major cities in Erebonia celebrate it in June, and it's gonna be the destination for our field study, but we don't know that yet. I've heard it's actually an old animistic festival that the Zeptian Church adopted. Ah, I see. We actually do have a similar festival in Nord. Though, if it's mostly celebrated in June, why does the capital wait until July? You know, I've always wondered that, too. Does anyone actually know? Uh, the standards for teaching just aren't what they used to be. I believe it has something to do with the War of the Lines, though beyond that... That's correct. July is the month when Emperor Dracos brought an end to the Civil War. Because of that, the Summer Festival was held a month late, alongside the celebrations of the war's end. Huh, interesting. Actually, I think Instructor Tomas was talking about that one time. But it seemed like he was just babbling on forever, so I managed to worm my way out of that conversation. Well, can't say I blame you. <laughs> if you let him, he can go on about history all day. Mm, he doesn't know how to shut up. Anyway, make sure you don't let the heat sap your strength. Though, I'm sure our miracle working maid will whip up a massive meal to keep us energized. It really does seem like she and Sharon have some kind of history together. I bet my mirror on it. Sharon always plays, plays innocent whenever I ask her about it, though. Well, that about does it for, your, for homeroom. If you'll do the honors, Marquez. Yes, instructor. All right. Bow. Um, I'm going to go after her, okay? Thanks. Uh, do you think you could maybe make a little more effort to get along with her? You are her senior, after all. I, I'm aware of that, however... Looks like those two are getting along the same as ever. They seem to be arguing after their race on our swimming course, too. <laughs> I heard their group's last field study score was middling as well. It's true, they were like that the entire trip. There is nothing you can do to smooth things out between them, Marine. Well, I'd love to do something for them if I could, but... Huh? Why me? Well, you seem to be good at this kind of thing, a real natural. <laughs> and besides, you're the well-intentioned Mark who got duped into running errands for the student council. It's not like I'd do anything that major for them. Uh, what's wrong, Elliot? 
Ah, so sorry, what were you saying? Ah, right, I, I have to agree, Reen. I think you're the best one for the job, too. I mean, it was thanks to you that Yusis and Magias became buddies. Wh who the hell became buddies? You must be sniffing roses in the gardens of delusions if you think I'm a friend of his. <laughs> you both say, th th say that, but you're totally on the same wavelength. Um, anyway, I hate to dish and dash, but I've got a club meeting to get to. Ah, yeah, wind orchestra, right? <laughs> I should be on my way as well. Actually, I've got a club meeting to attend myself. I'll catch you all later then. Obtained class 7 uniform. Obtained class 7 uniform costume. You can change costumes by selecting the costume you want to wear in the costume section of the camp menu's equip, equip tab. If no costume has been selected, the character's outfit will change automatically over the course of the story. However, certain scenes will feature characters wearing specific outfits rather than the costume you've selected. Alright, so basically in the middle of winter, I'm gonna walk around in, in a t-shirt and and walk around like the, the German that I am. I'm trying to make this a stereotype, but it's it's not working. It's, it's just me. I don't care much of, the, of, of cold. I do, like, I, I mostly shower cold and I... I, I do enjoy going in, in icy cold lakes to swim, but that's not something that most people do, so I just I just like to do that because I Oh! What Emma where did Emma end up being? What is Emma up to? I don't know. What are you looking at? Are you are we are we able to see her? No, I see Edel from up here. We see the guy who takes photos of, of girls. A his name starts with A, doesn't it? Hmm. I don't know for sure. Becky and Nico. Nico. Don't know. That looks like Klein. I enjoy how how, how I can like differentiate differentiate people from afar. It's nice. It's, it's it's something that I really love about this game. Oh, we know who's standing back. Who's the person in black? No, oh, that's a horse in black. That's Whitcomb. Oh well. Let's rest. I just wanted to stop my tangent, honestly. Okay, for the moment, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I'll see you in the next episode as well. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, toodles!